she have uh, cheated on me um, in August with some guy. I well, caught her in half. An- At the time that the child was conceived, were you engaged in sexual relations with anyone um, other than Mr. Chambers? Yes. Um, you were? Yes. Have, um, and has any DNA been done regarding um, that order. individual? Okay. I'm Thank you. No. <laughs> I'm okay. going to order DNA test. Thank you, Your Honor. Y'all are hold you on. Saying- Hold on one second. Miss okay. Stevenson, just hold on one second, okay? Miss Stevenson, if, if you were engaged in, in sexual concourse with anyone other than Mr. Chambers, I'm, I have to have a DNA test just to verify. It was just before to make sure. Mr. Chambers. I'm it sorry? was August the 4th. It was August the 4th with the other person. And then Mr. Chambers, September the 28th. And then I got pregnant in October. So I know that Isaiah Chambers is the father of my child. So you were not having sexual relations at anyone with anyone else at the time that the child was conceived? No, sir. I'm sorry if I didn't understand. Yeah, because you said you were. I'm sorry. I didn't okay. understand. That's okay. Go ahead, Miss Overstreet. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> now, um, so <coughs> you're on. now. Mr. Chambers. Knowing what Miss uh, Stevenson just testified to, do you still not want to take a DNA test? Mm. We can now, because I don't believe it. That's okay, Mr. Chambers. I don't blame you. All right, that's your right. We're going to order DNA testing. Thank you, Your Honor. What's our reset date? Um, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Let me pull up the calendar real quick. I didn't have it up. And I'm sorry you both waited so long. Sometimes that's kind of how the facts come out in these trials, okay? So we just want to make sure and uh, make sure we got everything squared away before we go forward and do a full-blown order in regards to the child. What's our reset date? May 26th. Uh, I have a, um, a question to ask. Okay, well, um, hold on one second. Let me – what's going on? Go, go ahead and ask your question, Mr. Chambers. Um, before I do the DNA test, before I, before we even get to that, I was going to let you know, I did know uh, that she she had uh, cheated on me um, in August with some guy. Okay. And, uh, well, I that's, caught just her an, that's, an, that's just another good reason, Mr. Chambers, to take the DNA test and verify. But that was way in August the 4th. It was okay. Hey, y'all, listen, listen real quick. Careful, okay? There's a lot of issues that y'all have, and that's fine. I want to hear those issues that are important in regards to the child, Bella, all right? But today's not that day. Today is the day that I'm going to order DNA testing, and the AG's office is going to reach out to each of you and let you know when and where you're supposed to show up for your DNA test, and then we'll come back here in May, and once the DNA test results get to me, then we'll have a hearing at that time, and I'll see the DNA test results, Okay. Yeah, and until just, that time, until that time, just just you know, airing out ugly issues against each other is it it doesn't matter. Okay. No, sir. Uh, I was just asking, um, is there any way that uh, you know? I'm just let you go ahead and continue, and I just ask at the end. No, that's all. It. That's all I had, Mr. Chambers. Um, well, I was going to ask, stating that I do know it's my daughter, but not that she's you know all that came about. But um, I I ain't gonna lie, I really do. Miss my daughter and I would love to see her like yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So if there's any way like this weekend or next weekend, can I please? I can't order police? that, Mr. Chambers, because I don't have a specific type of pleading in front of me that allows me to do that. Somebody would have had to file some additional lawsuits in front of me for me to be able to order that at this time. Okay. So you've been patient to this point in time. I'm just going to ask you to be patient for two more months and then we'll come back and get the visitation issue squared away on a final basis. Um, I would say, I mean, I can't order it, but Miss Stevenson, if Mr. Chambers had uh, has been having contact rights with Bella up until some point in time, you probably ought to make arrangements for him to be able to see his daughter. But that's just well, my suggestion. I ain't seen my daughter in eight months straight. How I okay. ask? 
This is the well, see my daughter. I can't order it, Mr. Uh, Chambers, unless Miss Stevenson still has the contact. Right, so. I have a question regarding to the DNA test. Can it be sooner because I am pregnant and I'm somewhat due around that time? Well, that um, you're due around what time? I'm due June the 12th, but they are looking at the end of May. Well, I mean, they're going to they're going to swab you for the DNA test probably, Miss Stevenson, in the next two weeks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What the hearing, our Zoom hearing on this case is going to be in, at the end of May. Okay. Understood. And then the reason why he can't see his daughter is because he can't give her back to me. That is why the, we're going through this whole process. Okay. Because he don't want to give her back to me and he have a problem with keeping his hands to himself. Okay. Well, I mean, we'll take up all those issues at that time. Uh, maybe y'all be able to work okay. out something between now and then. But if you can't, then I'll just take it up at that time. Just to understand, Ms. Stevenson and Mr. Chambers, the fact that the child was kept away from the father of the for this long, it will be a factor when I come back here and make my final decision in this case. Okay. All right. And all of those yes, facts sir. will come out, and it'll have an influence on what I do in the case. But. If there was one side that was basically exercising dominance over the child um, to the detriment of the other party, I'm going to take that into consideration when I make my ruling. Okay. Right. I wish you both the best of luck. We'll see you back here in May. All right. Judge, All right. can I ask? The state have any have questions a, as to the question. Hold on, Mr. Batiste. Let me ask my questions first. <coughs> no, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Batiste and Ms. Drake, what's going to happen now is the state's going to send me a proposed order. As long as it matches what I said here today, I'm going to sign it and get it back to them. And they're going to make a copy of it and send it to each of you. Now, you don't have to be satisfied with my ruling. If either party is dissatisfied with my ruling, you have three business days for which to file written notice of appeal with the Jefferson County District Clerk's Office. Your appeal's got to be specific. You've got to state in your appeal what part of my ruling you disagree with. And you're responsible for sending a copy of that written appeal to all the other non-appealing parties. Mr. Batiste, did you say that you had a question? Yes, sir. What's that? Uh, I was saying, can they take it out of my checks? Yes, sir. Okay. How often do you get paid? Weekly. They'll take a piece of it every week. They won't try to take the whole thing out of one check. Okay. Ms. Drake, do you have any questions? Um. Yes. How do we go about changing the last name? Well, I've, I've officially changed the last name now. If you wish to change the last name uh, on the birth certificate, then you have to pay a small fee and apply to the Bureau of Vital Statistics to do that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But really and truthfully, Ms. Drake, you don't have to do anything now because I've changed the last name. It's going to be in the court order that way. Just from now on, that's the last name you're supposed to use for the child. Okay. Thank you. All right. I thank you both for being here today. She wasn't there to pick up our daughter, and I call her. I'm like, hey, where you at? What are you doing? I'm busy. I'm on a date. I said, you on a date? You're, so you on a date with a guy is more important than getting your daughter on time. I had to be to work at four in the morning. Stevens, don't, don't interrupt him, Miss Stevenson. He's digging a hole deeper for himself than you ever could. She's just trying to exaggerate her position a little bit to make herself sound better. Or I could be thinking, you know, Miss Stevenson just could be flat out lying to me, which means I'm not going to believe anything that comes out of your mouth. All right.